You're a superhero Hello guys, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Post Heavy Skull. This weapon is a zombie weapon in the zombie section and you buy it with 450 zombie knights. Basically zombie knights are the currency, the new currency that respawnables added to their game where you play hordes mode and as you get team score at the end of the game you get zombie knight. So this is gonna be my ultimate review on the Post Heavy Skull. I'm gonna be playing in missions, multiplayer and hordes mode and I'm gonna be reviewing all three of those and see if it's good in all these three areas. What I'm gonna be rocking with is the Brazilian Scrapper Mask, which increases accuracy by 10% with heavy machine guns and it gives you 14% health. The vest I'm gonna be using, the Zombie Recruit Vest, reduces damage received from bullets by 20%, but increases damage received from fire by 20%, and it gives you 7% agility. This is a really good vest and it's with Zombie Nice as well, so it's easy to get. And at last for the pants, I'm going to be using the zombie recruit pants where it says at full health you get a 15% speed increase plus 7% agility which is basically it gives you a very big speed boost and I really like those pants so I'm going to use them. Okay so I went ahead to missions and I'm testing this gun out. It seems pretty good, it kills, it's two shots of people, it has also a burning effect because it's a fire weapon. So basically if you hit one shot and then the person could die from the burning effect you don't need to hit the second shot. But the mission is two shots, in multiplayer I think it's gonna be like three shots, probably. Everyone using OP armor, but still it melts, it has so many bullets inside, you don't even need to reload like ever, you can get so many kills without reloading. It's really broken, and I really like it. In missions, it's really, really good. There's nothing to talk about anymore here. Let's just get straight into multiplayer. Okay, so I've gonna head to multiplayer. And basically I couldn't find a good lobby, but this is not a noob lobby, it's a decent lobby. There aren't really good players, there aren't like OP players to play against so I can test it out. But it's a decent lobby, so we're just gonna see how it performs in multiplayer with people having different gear rather than the bots in missions. So as you can see guys, it's still 2 shot to 3 shot, it's still broken. Oh, the only thing that counters it is the anti-burn effects, nothing else, it's still really broken. It's a really, really, really good weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the other to the end so you guys don't get bored. I'm gonna see you guys on the scoreboard. Okay, so the match ended as you can see right now. Let's see how many kills we got. We got 20 kills and 2 deaths, which is really good. It's extremely good with this weapon. It's not a pro lobby, but still it's... It's a really good KD ratio. Okay, so I jumped onto Hordes, which is the main thing I want to talk about with this gun. In Hordes, this gun is really, really broken. It's also in multiplayer missions, but the, in Hordes especially, it's really, really, really broken. So basically, what you do is you use a Hulk armor, which increases the fire rate with each shot landed, and use this weapon and just camp in one area because it has a long range and short range advantage. It kills every, every enemy so fast. Is really really good guys. It's way better than using the fire spitter or the zombie incinerator. I would recommend this a hundred times than the fire spitter or zombie incinerator. You can also guys see my last video where I teach how to get a lot of spawn as fast. My strategy and it's this strategy again right here using the post heavy skull and the Hulk armor. Okay so now I got the fire spitter and as you can see I'm gonna be comparing it with this heavy post skull. But the fire spitter is underpowered compared to the heavy post column. As you can see, I'm, I'm comparing it right now. You can guys see the fire spirit doesn't even kill the zombies that fast. It kills them really fast, it's, it's the second best weapon to use. It kills them fast, but it just doesn't kill them fast enough as the post heavy skull. So basically the fire spirit is useless compared to the post heavy skull in, in zombies. So yeah guys, there you guys have it. An uh, ultimate review on all three game modes of the post heavy skull. As you can see, in all three game modes, it's awesome and I would recommend it. I would recommend the first weapon you buy from the zombies category should be the post heavy skull. It's a, the, it's a really, really good weapon. As I said, I've said a hundred times this video. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, check out my other video of how to get respawn nights. I really appreciate the support on that. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.